The experience of having played the uh, the last two series as conference games and, and simulating playoffs, I think, is really important for our young team to gain some pressure experience and to you know figure out what they did well and what they um, you know need to work on. And I think us as a whole, um, you know, definitely learned some things throughout those two doubleheaders. Um, it was a lot. Uh, for them to kind of look at uh, the situation that we had where, you know, our defense was struggling a bit and we were lacking in communication and we worked really hard in practices to try to um, keep up with the defense. And I think that it's important that, um, you know, we put the focus there on that. Um, it doesn't matter how many runs, you know, you put up on the board. If we're giving away, you know, five, six outs an inning, um, that's not really helping ourselves out. So we really focused on cleaning up the defense, and I think it's, you know, it's finally starting to come together. I think having uh, returners, you know, coming back to the playoff experience and having our juniors be a part of um, the LEC playoffs for the third year in a row, I think is extremely important for our underclassmen. You know, our, our sophomores, as much as they had a great experience last year, this is a very different year and, and this is a very different team. So the expectations and, um, you know, the way that they communicate and all of that stuff is very different. So they have to really um, rely on the people that have been in those situations before and and luckily you know our juniors are doing a really great job of trying to let everybody know hey listen you know we're at zero zero everybody's at zero zero it's an even playing field and you know this is where we really you know have to start grinding I think we've had some success against Plymouth because um, you know we we kind of get amped up for that game for whatever reason. Um, you know, our girls get excited about um, – because we know we're going to face them in the postseason. Um, and we always play them at a time where, you know, we could use a little motivation. And so I think that's really helped us in the past. I think being up against Plymouth uh, is a great matchup. I mean, I think if you look at any team in the LEC, I think anyone's capable of winning uh, the conference championship this weekend. So – you know, we're just hoping to take it one pitch at a time and really focus on, um, you know, what we need to do to get to the next day and to get, get to the next step. It's us being the sixth seed and us playing, um, you know, having done well against some of the higher seeds in the conference, um, I think is very helpful because we, you know, when we say we can beat anyone in the conference, we can beat anyone in the conference, you know, there's some validity to that. And, you know, having our our young team, you know, buy into the idea that, yeah, we really can beat anyone. And it's not just coach and the coaching staff saying, you know, we can, we can beat anybody. We can beat anybody. Um, you know, once they start actually believing that that's when it starts to come true. So, um, you know, it, it, as soon as everybody gets on board, um, with that, you know, whether it's this weekend or over the summer or the weekend after, um, you know, once everyone gets on board with that, you know, we're, we're going to make a run for it. Being positive, uh, I think, is one of the three things that we would need to walk away with the championship. Uh, I think our defense needs to be strong, and, you know, offensively we have to be um, aggressive and prepared. Yeah.